In this short screencast, I'm going to show you how to crop your photos according to rule of thirds using the crop function in Photoshop. The first thing you're going to need to do is access your images. So since we're using Google Drive and it's on the cloud, we actually have to go to our Google Drive, okay, and we have to find the photo and download it. Um, so when you double click on the photo, you'll get a preview of the image if you decide, yes, this is the one that I want, okay? And remember, we're cropping for rule of thirds. So with this image that I took, this shell is pretty much dead center in my photo. And I want to remember, according to rule of thirds, move it a little over to the left or over to the right according to that grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it. And at the top right of your screen, you'll see the arrow pointing down. This will download your picture to your downloads folder. So what we need to do now is go back to Photoshop and we need to open up this photo that we've just downloaded. So there's two ways to get the picture. Um, I like, this is the quickest way, is you just double click on this gray space here and it will open up your computer access to your picture folder or um, download folder. I've been using the downloads, so that's why it kind of defaulted to that. Um, but if you have some other drives connected, you can also access it through there, um, such as the hard hardwire plug in your phone if um, you can't get your Google Drive uh, to work on the Wi-Fi. So um, I'm in my downloads, and I'm going to click I actually downloaded this twice because I was trying some things out, actually three times. But anyhow, so this is the picture that I want. So I'm going to click on it and choose open. And it will appear in my workspace. The other way that you can do this, and you won't be able to see it because it's kind of cropped off from my screen, but up at the top um, of your screen, you'll see a file and you'll see an open option at the top. So you could do that, but again, the double click on the gray, uh, gray area is the easiest. So we're going to use the crop tool, which is actually already um, activated here. So I'll click off of that and then um, I can show you which one that is. So it kind of looks like these two uh, corners that are just overlapping. It's pretty universal. You'll see this crop tool in Instagram and Facebook and I'm sure all sorts of other um, photo sharing and uh, photo editing uh, apps that you may have. So I'm going to click on that and what I have here is the at the top are the uh, tool options, the toolbar options that go along with this tool. What I want you to choose is you're going to see these overlay options for the crop tool. So you're going to click on that and you'll see that there are different grid styles um, for working with composition. And we'll talk more about these. Um, they're kind of nice um, outlines to use when kind of deciding on how to crop your photo and, and so on and so forth. And soon you'll get a good feel for it and you won't even need the grid. Um, but right now we're going to use the rule of thirds grid. Okay. So what you will do is you will um, click and drag on your image. Now, since I'm cropping, that means I'm actually taking away from the photo. A lot of times we'll crop something out that was on the edge or outer area that we didn't want in the picture. So you'll have to crop within the picture. You won't be able to um, you know, use as much of the background here. So what this does is it sets up your three columns and three rows. And remember with the rule of thirds, you want your interesting areas hitting one of these intersecting points. That's how you work it. Now, maybe we have to decide what's most interesting. Obviously, the shell is the most interesting part in this picture, but I would possibly want um, the area of most interest, most contrast, hitting one of these sections. So I'm going to drag it over. Um, and as you can see, I'm starting to cut off some of my picture. So I'm going to have to probably pull this crop um, this crop area back in. So any area that is highlighted is what what you'll keep. Any area that is grayed out will be cropped out of the image. So I wanted to move the shell so that it hits one of these intersecting areas, but I also have some back 
backdrop area around it, kind of framing it. So I think this might work. Um, the other option we have is maybe moving it over more this way. Because as you see, this had some sand area that was maybe distracting to my composition. So maybe I prefer this. Let me just bring it down just a little bit. Just up. I think I like that. So when I'm ready, I will double click on my picture. And we have our craft rule of thirds. Um, and if you go to your history tab, you can see that here's the original image and here is the cropped image. And the cropped image is more interesting because it brings more attention and more focus to that shell. Now, if you wanted to go back and try cropping it a little differently, you can just go back to open and bring your crop tool again and see if you want to adjust it even more. Um, maybe leave some more of that background sand area than before. Um, so our original and our crop. And I still think I'm not completely over to the right there, so I think I'll crop it again. So as you can see, you can spend forever um, playing with the crop tool and figuring out how you how you want to go about um, maneuvering your shell in the image. And as you can see, as I keep cropping and keep cropping, I keep losing more of that photo. So it's probably best to go back to the original image and crop from the original image because that is where I will have the most, um, most of my background to work with. That's probably what I like. That's much better. So here's the original and here's the cropped. As you can see, you know, using the rule of thirds, it just an asymmetrically, this is what we would call an asymmetrically balanced work. Um, it just brings more emphasis, more attention to your subject when you take out um, some of the area surrounding it. So see how the crop tool works for you. Continue to try to work in rule of thirds. And again, that rule of thirds grid, many of your smartphones have that function on there and you can set up the crop or the um, rule of thirds grid on your screen when you're taking pictures.